Hello, I'm Cara Dahl Russell. Welcome to another installment of Serious Music for Small Harps. Today, once again, I will be playing a stony end harp that has no levers. It's tuned in the key of C and it has 26 strings. As I mentioned in my video about learning how to read music with the harp, um, this harp actually does have a middle C that is actually in the middle. Its high note and its low notes are G's. This piece goes from G to G, so depend. I can actually play it in two different places on this harp, and I will, um, with a, just a slight change at the end when I play it lower. So you'll get to hear the different qualities of the voice of the harp in different areas of this harp. I really like this harp. Um, it's not mine, by the way. <laughs> it belongs to my cousin, um, and uh, it has a nice, big, warm sound, and it's really light. Um, so it's, it's great for somebody that wants to do harp therapy work, or um, and I'm not I'm not paid by them. I just think this is as a, is a really nice little harp. Um, if I were going to get it, I would get full levers. Um, and that's, to me, is what it's missing. And as with a lot of little harps, its top string, the G, as you will hear in the piece, is a little um, It's very hard to t get it to a good tuning place, and it's a little wonky, but the rest of it has a lovely sound. So today, I feel really fortunate that I found an article uh, by the website Practice Space that was highlighting the music of five African-American composers. And one of them was Florence Price, whose work I have heard of. She lived from 1887 to 1953. Most of the work that I've heard by Florence Price is um, either very modern and experimental, or her piano works can be quite dense. So I was really delighted that one of the freebies that they attached on this article, and I'll give you the information below, was this pedagogical work called Bright Eyes. Uh, it is uh, in 6-8 time, an allegretto, and it's just one page, a really lovely work for students and for a little harp. I'll tell you a little bit more about Florence Price. Her fourth symphony was composed in 1945, but was just unearthed. It was recently found in her abandoned summer home. She went to the New England Conservatory of Music when there were very few African Americans going to conservatories. It was there that, partially because of the bias that she would encounter if she were a concert pianist, um, she was encouraged to become a composer. And her works are now very revered and still being explored. She was the first female African-American composer to have a symphony performed by an American orchestra. And she also won a composition prize for her first symphony. Florence Price, worth looking up, and definitely for pianists, uh, definitely worth looking up her music, and I will be exploring more of her music to see if any of it can transition well to the harp.
As you could tell up here at the top, that was very tight, especially for me with my big hands. That was very tight and also a lot less resonance, a really bright, crisp, small sound up here at the top of the heart. When I played it down an octave, I got a fuller sound and almost like a completely different piece played down there. And then, of course, this harp didn't go lower, so I compensated by doing those harmonics at the end just for a, a bright touch at the end. Serious music for small harps. This is Bright Eyes by Florence B. Price, American composer. There is a link in this under this video to the article from Practice Space, in which I found not only this sheet music, but another work by hers, a more advanced work by Florence Price, as well as some a free sheet music download for other works by five other African-American composers, including some for guitar from a living composer. Um, you do have to give them your email but for the free download, I thought it was worth it. And this lovely little piece that you can use for yourself or for your students. I'm Cara Dahl Russell. Thanks for listening to Serious Music for Small Harps. Whoops, that's my baking. <laughs>